Uh, I think it's a clusterfuck already. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. The video is about high-powered scooters. Sunday, our last day of the week. We're working lunch and dinner today. We're about to hit a nice, strong lunch shift, hopefully. First order, carving board. 2.7 miles from the house to the customer. We started the Strava right away today. Man, this guy's tailing me on the left. Well, fuck you, buddy. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna go around you and make you fucking feel like shit. Bye-bye, motherfucker. Hey, how you doing? I have Sue, S-O-O, -O, and then the letter C. Sue, C for... Okay, how much time do you think you need? Give me a second, okay? Okay. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Going to the Adidas store, I would imagine it should be easy to find. There's an Adidas bag. What do you know? This is for Sue, for Sue. Thank you. All right, first delivery right from the house. 14 minutes, very solid. We started at 12.30 today. Yesterday was brutal having that $47 lunch shift. I'm happy that I pulled off a good dinner shift. I think in the end I made 152 bucks for like six, six and a half hours, not too bad, but we're looking for a minimum $200 days. I mean, today we need to make 280 bucks if we want to make a thousand for the week. I don't see that happening, but 200 can always happen. This is a mediocre job, but I'm a little shell shocked from yesterday, so I took it 1.9 miles, $7 from this place, Salts. There's no drinks with it, otherwise I would have rejected it. So the key to making a shitty order work is to do everything perfectly. Let's get to the restaurant. We gotta do a walk in and walk out with barely hesitation to really get it right. We can even get there without the sat nav and oh, let's not get ran over here. So okay, let's focus on the drive now. All right, so this has gotta happen easier or it's not gonna happen at all. I see a couple orange juices out there. There's no way I'm gonna take those drinks. It doesn't say there are drinks in the order, so let me double check it. No drinks at all in the order, Armando. Hello, hey buddy, I have Armando for Uber. Oh, you're the best, dude. Nice work. Oh, how do you like that? I'm now. I'm glad I took this order right to the door. Let's do it. On your left, buddy. Hey Armando, I wasn't sure you want me to, uh, I'll give it to you. I gotta take a picture of it really quick. Okay, hey, it's my pleasure, man. There you go, and enjoy. Appreciate it, you be safe. Hey, thank you. All right, good pace. Two deliveries, 32 minutes, decent amount of mileage of those, six miles almost. Don't run this light, dummy. This is why I run every light. It feels like it takes too long. It's coming in at once. Not taking the Sam's Bagels. 1.6 miles for $5.86. Forget it. Come on, Mendocino Farms. Screw you. 2.3 mile, $8.46. Blue Jam Cafe with no coffee. Let's do it.
Hi guys, watch yourself please, watch yourself. Thank you. How you doing? I have Stephanie C for Uber. Alright, if you just move right over here and oh. we'll check on that. Thank you. You know, we figured instead of bringing the scooter through the crowd, we just tied it up. Just, there's no reason, like I'm showing off half the time trying to get the scooter through the crowd. This is easier. The Sunset Boulevard. often we have a very nice 0.8 mile $10 subway run. This is what we want entering a flow state now. Let's go. going on in this elevator professional style this is like an office desk material I'm convinced these are old repurposed office desks all right 243 we're gonna have three orders done in 55 minutes holy shit maybe not oh we're lucky it's right here Okay, right back in the elevator. Now we got a subway for 10 bucks. Five bottles of water, two sandwiches, and two things of chips. That's no big deal. Five bottles of water, what a waste of money. All right, we're going to the one near me, the subway near me. Yeah, this is probably a safe spot for the scooter across from these guys. These guys are probably just watching it for me the whole time. Look at that, the scooter's still here, and they must have been watching it for me. Hi guys, you got this order for Mike? This guy ordering all this water, what's up with that? That's hysterical, man. Okay, I appreciate it, thank you. You too, bro. This is a delivery to the Roosevelt and the customer did not say anything in the notes about the fact that they were in the Roosevelt, so I'm gonna call them. I'll leave in lobby, okay, perfect. That's the mouse here, they're shooting American Idol. Hey, what's up, man? I got a DoorDash order. Can I leave this here and just bring it to the lobby, the uh, food? Uh, just drop it off here. I can't walk inside. Perfect, man. That's what I prefer. I've actually remembered that. We did that last time I was here, right? Yeah. You got a regular customer in here. Okay, great. How you doing, man? You must be thirsty. This guy's got five bottles of water coming. Hang on. That's because your fucking hotel water is too expensive, man. I mean, this guy's getting it from Subway. It's the worst source, but I mean, that's... Good job, good job. All right, guys, thank you very much. This is the line for in and out basically. A line for in and out. And some traffic. Come on, guys. Crappy six and a half dollar, two mile Starbucks run, mostly because we want to stay busy. You got Joseph, Joseph P. Thank you. Okay, see you next time. Leave it front gate order. I'm not sure which gate they mean. This place is literally all gates. Gates, gates. We'll figure this out. 
Yeah, okay, so this is obviously the front gate. It's got the intercom. The Left at front gate by customer request. Having this bad feeling that I want to go back to McDonald's. I had this meal at McDonald's yesterday. I hadn't had a quarter pounder in forever. And it was fucking so fucking good. Quarter pounder with bacon, no cheese for me, and french fries. And I only had a couple sips of the soda. And it like, I don't know, it didn't give me a stomach ache. My, my, my trick is, is that I eat my fast food like Trump does. You know, he throws away the bread. So I throw away like the top portion of the bread. I'm not as tough as Trump. I can't go no bread fast food. And he drinks diet soda. I'd like to show him some studies that proves that diet soda does not contribute to weight loss at all. I avoid diet soda. If I'm going to eat something unhealthy for me, I like Fanta Orange. Ooh, we're getting an order in here. Come on, man. Let's go DoorDash. You've been down half the fucking day. Now, this is from Jesse Boy. We don't take orders from this place. I'm heading to McDonald's just in case it's slow. I don't want to be sitting around. If it's still slow, by the time we get there, might as well order it. It's the only thing I can eat on the road. They get it done for you really quick. There's nobody in there but the people cleaning. That's the prerequisite to eating here. How you doing? Hello. Yeah, we did it. Watch how fast they get us the food. It's 157 according to the receipt and my phone. We gave them three minutes. Two o'clock, three minutes later, we already got the food. And we didn't miss any good orders. Slam down the McDonald's, and now we have a $10 to 3.3 mile, tender greens for two steaks. Let's go. Actually gonna do a rare thing where we give up on this DoorDash job for 10 bucks because I got a $15 Mendocino Farms run for a mile less. So we're gonna take a hit to our acceptance rate on DoorDash, which is no big deal. We're at 96%. And we're gonna go down the street and get Mendocino Farms for more money. Thank you. Oh God, much, much, much better for me. Yeah, it's my dream. I dream about this every day. <laughs> Not having to go up in these buildings. I do a very good job on it. Yeah, I probably, yeah. Say that again? Yeah, I do my own maintenance for the most part. I do, I do tires, I do brakes. Battery gives me about 40 miles. I have two of them. I use two of them for the job. Let me just contact this customer, let them know it's here. Excuse me, Uber Eats, or the name of the customer? Yeah, of course. This is for um, Candice1702. Uh, I've never been in this spot before, but 10 bucks, 0.7 miles. Gotta give it a shot. It's gonna be a miracle if we get through this order easily. I already just can't stand the people here. Take a right turn on Santa Monica Boulevard, then pick up. <sighs> of course, there's nobody in here. Anybody home? Take a right turn on. Hello, anybody home? Is there anybody in here? Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm yelling. I need, I need, I need Megan C for Uber. For oh, Megan, okay. Yeah. Go right turn on Santa Monica Boulevard, then pick up. Oh, uh, yeah, this place looks fucking terrible. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to tie up and go up and show you this fucking haunted mansion. God, that was like old, holy shit. Like old school phony style. You can hear the rotary phone going off for the entire eight or nine clicks of the phone number is. Where are we in fucking 1910? Jay? 
No letter. Oh my God. H. Thought I seen some creepy fucking buildings, but this place takes the cake. What the fuck? I tied the scooter up. It's looking good. It's 250. The plan is to work until about 3.30, a three-hour shift. All right, we got a $14 Genghis Cohen order. We don't often take these. It's a little far south, but for $14.16, only going 2.1 miles in the right direction, might be our last delivery of the day, and we're in really good shape. This place has a very kind of theatrical entrance. Hi, I have John S. for Uber. Beautiful, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just slammed the bag into the fucking wall. Nice work. I knew this was going to be a big bag, so I emptied out the box before I went in, so that way I could just slide this puppy right in. I hope. Shit, I'm going to take this out. There you go, boom. Hey buddy, you ready for some Genghis Khan? Yep. Good place, you got good taste. Yeah, that's a great place. Good. Never trust these bags though, man. I think the restaurants are running out of bags. Feel how heavy that is. You're lucky yeah. you lift. All right, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Man, that guy must have been hungry because I didn't even get a glimpse of his apartment. He like came across the street to get me. He was big, that's why I said it looks like you lift. Or it looks like whatever. I said something about lifting. Anyhow guys, I think that's gonna be the end of the shift because we're not too far from home. I feel redeemed from yesterday's lunch shift. Yesterday's lunch shift made me very worried. You know, I never, I always worry about when the dime might, I always worry about when the business might turn bad or just not as good as it's been. So I've been spoiled with these $100 lunch shifts and I think we did something good today. Maybe we'll take this last order now, 12.4 miles. So we're gonna decline it. We're gonna wrap it up and we'll show you the numbers. I'll give you an estimate as I pull into the house. But we'll also give you we'll also give you the actual numbers after the end of every night shift. I appreciate you spending the afternoon with me. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy, videos about high-powered scooters. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you have any comments, nice ones, semi-mean ones, I can handle it. Subscribe to the channel, please. That helps a lot. Like the video as well. And you know I'll see you soon. Door to door, two hours, 46 minutes, 23.5 miles. And I'm guessing we did about 80 bucks. The DoorDash, the Uber app is not showing us our tips. Sometimes our tips and our full pay gets held up for as much as like a day. But I'll have, it, uh, I'll have all the numbers at the end of the evening shift. But I think we did about 80 bucks in 2.75 hours. I like that. Okay guys, see you soon. Why is it? Leo, come on, what are you afraid of the scooter? Man? Oh my God, Leo the building cat got in the elevator with me. I can't let him stay in here. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> $2 WeHo tie, 10 mile, $10 two mile WeHo tie to start off Sunday evening. I am thirsty as hell. I gotta buy a soda or something. How you doing? I have a Peter, and I'd like to buy this for myself. Okay. 
I never in my life bought one of these fucking Arizona iced teas, but I can see the appeal when you're really fucking thirsty. So crack a bottle, let your body waddle. Don't act like a snobby model. You just sit the Hey man. Are you my 6136? Yeah. Okay, cool. How you doing? Peter, Peter. Yep. What's your name, man? Hi, right, well, here you go. Much. Appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure. Yeah, Enjoy. Take care. Thank you. KYNI, Kini, KYNI for Uber. It's all right. Beautiful, thank you. <laughs> I'm laughing at this bag, man. This bag handle is useless. Where's the boss? Look how slow this fucking thing is. Look how slow it is. Hey, it's your Uber. I'm right at the entrance. Alrighty, all silver elevator. Okay, so guys, here's we are where we here's where we are at. It's the end of the week, Sunday night. It is 5.44. I'm probably gonna work till about 8.30, an hour and three quarters more. We need to make like another 80 bucks just to pull off a $900 a week. I wanted a thousand dollar a week, but we had that very slow day yesterday. A couple other days were below average. So 900 for the week is good. Working only 30 hours, but we still gotta get through tonight. So let's see, where are we going? 601. This will be our last mediocre order. This is like 2.5 miles for eight and a half bucks. We're back at Bloodsoe's. There you go. Did you guys give your names already? Yeah. How you doing, man? Good, good. I got, I got. Okay, no problem, no problem. All right, thank you. Looks like you're doing all the jobs, man. Thanks. Thank you. How you doing, man? Here you go. Thank you. Like a seven and a half dollar short range Starbucks Sunset in La Brea. Sunset in La Brea coffee. Usually this Turn is Turn on up. West Sunset Boulevard. Usually then pick up. Shut up. Usually this is our morning spot. Nobody in here. Ooh. This place is making me want to get a cookie or something. Ah. Hi guys. I have Loso, L-O-S-O. Loso, L-O-S-O. Yep. Interesting name, thank you. Yeah, you got it. Hey, it's your Uber driver. I'm at the entrance to Las Palmas. Is that where you want to meet me? Okay, so, do you want me to actually leave it here for you? I can wait for you, why don't you just come down? I don't want to leave it out here. Come on down, I don't want to leave. I mean, I could leave this here for you, like your directions, but I don't know if I want to leave it on the street. I'll wait for you, you want to come down? Okay, I'm on Las Palmas. I'll wait for you, buddy. I got a $12 order from Lala's after this. Hopefully this guy will get down here in some reasonable time. I don't know why I told him I would wait for him down here. Message from Lazo. Coming now. Oh, is this you, Loso? Okay, sorry, sorry. All right, this is a very good $12.50, 2.4 mile Lala's run. You know these guys are ready for us. Are you guys drivers? No. Hi, uh, you got Justice? Justice? Justice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I don't understand, man, why these guys want to stand all fucking clustered around like that. You can just step outside. I wasn't going to be able to find that number. All right, so here you go. Thank you. Have a good night. You too, enjoy. Hey, you got Kaylee? Starfish Kaylee. There you go. Thank you. See you next time. I have a feeling this is going to pay out a little higher. Oh, 50 cents higher. Wow, 13. My new light. You see it? See how bright this fucking thing is? 
It's good light. Slow, and this like $13 pizza order came up. I thought I would grab it from Lucifer's Pizza. It's only a 10 inch pizza. I can carry 10 inch pizza, right? Let's do it. Hi guys. Do you have Ken K yep. for Uber? Oh, so you do you do actually have full size pies as well here, right? Not just these small ones. Yes, I usually don't take pizza orders. When I saw a 10 inch, I could do that. Okay. But but sometimes you do have regular pies, I see. Okay. Yes, this obviously I could do. Yes, Thank you. Thing. Scooter looks pretty good, I think. Just enough lights. A little easy peasy pizza. Of course we can take this for 13 fucking dollars. Put that right in there. Boom. Turn left after Chipotle Mexican Grill on the left. On I would like to challenge this robot to a delivery contest tonight. How much money is this thing going to make? Are you in charge of it? Let me ask you this really quick. I have a delivery. Is it actually doing deliveries? Are you actually doing deliveries with it? How many can it do in a day? One or two? It's slow as shit, I noticed. <laughs> but you get paid to follow it around, right? Yes. It's a good job. It looks like fun. Where's your scooter? You got a scooter? No. In your car? I noticed that they don't have the guys on the scooter anymore, so now it has a little more autonomy. Interesting. Yeah, it's a crazy job. I, I can't tell if it's doing my job or I'm doing its job, you know, because I'm doing it on a scooter, so. Hi. Hey, you my Uber customer? Yeah. All righty. Yeah. Eat a little Lucifer's pizza for you. Yes. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good night. You too, man. Hi guys. Hi, I have RT um, Uber. Thank you very much. Yeah, you too. How you doing? Let me snap a quick picture of it really quick. There you go. Enjoy, thank you. We got a pretty good $10 order from the carving board. This will probably be our last order for the night. I think we did somewhere between 180 and 200 for the day. It's really hard to say, but we're doing okay. Not too bad. This place does not look good. I've never, never seen it so busy. Hopefully we can slam our way through here. Let's see. This doesn't look good. All customers, no staff. Oh, what the? They're, 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 they're and, and no orders. No orders. It was not ready, so I'm gonna reassign it and try to snag another order. Another one, Madeline. Oh, nice. Thank you. directions on these you said if the door is not open just leave it out front why would this door be open it looks pretty locked to me <laughs> 2.4 2.4 mile milk bar run 11 and a half bucks. Probably our last order of the night. We'll see what's it for. Candy bar, compost cookie, and a pumpkin. All right. Yep. That happens to be my name, but that's not what I'm looking for. Your name too? Yes, sir. <laughs> I got an Uber order though for Tristine with a T. Okay. It's a good name, sir. I saw mine at the PH though. God, this order is so light. There's like nothing in here for 20 bucks. It's a little bit fucking dark and fucking spooky and hard to find. But I found it.
Okay, friends, I think we did really good. I'm not sure, but I think we hit $120 dinner shift. I think we had a $200 day. I'm not sure. But I will put my total numbers up for the day and for the entire week at the end of this video because I know a lot of people like to see that. Everybody's tracking how much I make. I mean, it is important. This job is only... I get an order here? One more order? Mm, no. You know, this job is, is fun. You know, I was happy to make $20 an hour, but as I'm closing in on a true $30 an hour rate, I'm really happy. Okay, guys, I appreciate you coming along with me for yet another dinner shift, following me for yet another full week of deliveries. I appreciate it. If it's your first time watching the videos, just subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below. Ask me questions. You know I like talking back to you. Man, we, we, are we ever going to end this night? What do we got here? 1.9 miles, 711? No. Okay, guys, I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Videos about high powered scooters. Like, share, subscribe, comment, talk to me. I appreciate your support. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Three hours, 21 minutes, 21 knots. Uh, three hours, 21 minutes, 29 miles, dinner shift.